There's a fish coming up at the uh, at the bait. Big fish coming, big, big, big fish coming. Yeah, huge fish coming. Huge fish coming. Oh, here he is again. Coming right at you. Dude, that's so big. That's huge. That might be bigger than the first one. Oh, look at him. Look at his giant. Oh, that's so big, man. Yeah, that's a big fish. Oh, it's coming huge. Oh, eat it. Eat it. Oh. oh that's right on me. It just chomped me. He hit it. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Yeah. Got him! Oh, that's super big. You love to see it, dude. Yeah! Got him! That's that peeling drag run I'm looking for, baby. <laughs> is he in the hole? Yes, he is. There, there he is. Oh, that big, 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 big. That's right there, yeah. Got him, baby. Got him. Another giant, man. Absolute giant. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. The biggest clear water lake trout I've ever seen in my life. Yo, what is up? Welcome back. It is your auntie's favorite fisherman and your auntie's favorite fisher dog. We're on route. We're heading up north to northern Manitoba. Right at the Clearwater Lake in search of some big mama lake trout. So Suka and I are going to go meet up with Brady. We're dragging the ice castle way up north to the Paw Manitoba where big mama lake trout dwell. Now Clearwater is not my favorite lake fish for lake trouts. There is huge, huge lakers in there, no doubt. But the method of fishing for them is kind of lame. It's a lot of meat fishing, lots of like really dainty little finessey trickery things, but that's okay because at the end of the day, the big mamas are the goal. No matter the method of fishing, uh, we'll check in with you. We're with Brady. We got the ice castle hooked up. What up, Brady? No, I'm not tired. <laughs> Rough day on the water? Yeah, beat up. Okay, well, let's not waste time here and uh, get this big rig loaded up because we are behind schedule. We're going to get out there at like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Ice castle loaded up. We're only four hours behind schedule. It's pretty good. That, that's like actually on schedule. <laughs> We're going to be driving into the night, probably not sleeping for the next 24 at least hours. Stop number one. We're about uh, three hours into wow. the journey. Maybe not even. How far are we? In? <laughs> like two hours. Uh, four hours into the journey. <laughs> Had to re-nourish here. We got some popcorn chicken fries, burgers, horny dill sauce. Battered shrimp. Battered <laughs> mushrooms. <laughs> coffees. All the essentials. Candies, more burgers, Pepsi, of course. We're going to be at Clearwater at about like 4 a.m. No sleep till 40 inches, I guess. The time is now almost four in the morning. Brady's still driving. <laughs> He's like eight hours deep. The drive has taken us far longer than it should. We're both slowly losing our minds, but we are almost there. We're almost at the paw. We just have to get gas and then we are, I guess, going fishing. I can't see shit. Welcome to Thebus. Enjoy getting skunked for lake trout. Do you not ever put that <laughs> negativity out there? So we're not gonna sleep. Regulations in Manitoba say so you cannot sleep on the ice in a provincial park and Clearwater Lake is definitely in a provincial park. So uh, start the sleepless timer. Brady is on hour 26 of no sleep. I'm only on hour 20, but we're champing it out for the day. It's awfully cold outside right now. It is like 30 degrees colder here than it is back home in Winnipeg. God save us. <sighs> How you doing? So cold. <laughs> <laughs> That'll wake you up. So we went from minus five degrees Celsius yesterday to 40 below zero Celsius. Up here, we are trying to get the ice castle ready and it is cold. Take you outside, show you what we're dealing with right now. This is bullshit. You probably can't see anything because it is so windy. But it is horrible out here. This is rough. We are, uh, we'll check back in with you when we're more comfy. We can't film this. Yeah, Brady, I think we're almost friggin' ready. We are here. We are in the ice castle on beautiful Clearwater Lake. We are each on our, I can't remember how many, of no sleep. Fueled only on energy Pepsis and hopes and dreams. How are you yeah. doing over there, Brady? I am making Cisco hamburger. Daniel Steak taught me this. I can't take any credit for it, but. It's kind of the deal with lake trout. 
big part of the game is chum. Especially here. Especially here. This lake is notorious for being almost over chummed. I think a lot of people throw down big, big piles of chum, which is like weathered these lake trouts into just eating chum and not lures or bait. So what Brady's is doing here is he has a meat grinder and he is grinding these Cisco's into like a fine Cisco ground meat. So this way it's going to get all the scent of the meat all up in the water column, but not give the fish anything to eat because it's just going to dissolve into dust. It's, it's really here. Like it looks like it blankets the whole bottom and it looks like there's tons of chum on there, but it's nothing. It's literally like they don't even try to eat it because it's just... It's hamburger, it's just little bits. So Mush. they're it's looking perfect. For bigger bites. Like I said, big part of this lake and the biggest part that makes this lake a little bit unfun to fish is that these fish are very weathered to probably over chumming. They just have little morsels of fish meat to eat to fatten themselves up. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get this down. We are both so under rested. So uh, we're not gonna be at our Sunday best here. Thoughts are coming very slowly, but we're out here. Okay, so we're very much unprepared. We drove through the night, no sleep. Brady's been up for like over 30 hours and I'm going on 25, I think. Um, we are just kind of getting ready here. I'm trying to get all the electronics set up so you guys can see what we're seeing. We have the Aquaview, we have the Panoptics. We're also dealing with an incredibly drastic cold front. And if anybody's familiar with this channel here, there's one thing I'm always preaching is that stable weather is very important for active lake trout. We're not wasting our time here necessarily, but that just adds to the point that these fish very likely may be extra fickle today. Whoa, what's all that bait? Oh, you put chum. Big fish coming, big, big, big fish coming. Huge fish coming, huge fish coming. <clears throat> Holy, that's the biggest fish we've seen today by a lot. It's coming up to some, it's coming at the camera. Let's see if we'll see him. Oh, he's going down. He's gonna oh, look at him. Look at his giant. Oh, that's so big, man. Oh, that's right on me. It just chomped me. Yeah, he got it. Did hit him? Yeah! Got him. Oh! That's super big. Oh, he's doing crazy, crazy things. Oh my god. Okay. Save with me. I just gotta, you're good. I'm just gonna let it go. Okay, we're uh, just getting set up here. And we just saw the humongous so lake trout just pull up. Holy smoke, that's I gotta, huge. I gotta get that active. I gotta light loosen this drag. Oh, that was exciting. We didn't get the aqua view footage, but I think I got it on I think I got it on my head cam. Oh baby, okay. First hour out here at Clearwater, we've been up all freaking night long. That looks big, hey? This fish that we just saw looked big and it came in and crushed immediately. <laughs> well, I think we have to a good start here, Brady. Now this is the old big ticket. This is the medium action, which is, it's a little deceiving calling it a medium action because it is a juicy rod. Absolutely deadly for these big lake trout designed by Mac. And like I always say, I don't think he could have done a better job whatsoever. These are like the perfect lake rod in my opinion. Fish. I see him on the <laughs> That fish cruised in from the side, looked at my little bait here, which I'll show you after we land this fish, and engulfed it. That, like, he did not hesitate either. Like, he came in and, oh, the dude, he's, oh, he's at 50 feet. You're still way down. This is a big, I, this is a big fish. I have a piece of chum stuck on my line. Is that your, oh, that's your jig? Oh, that's bad. How do we do this? We have to get that off. Can you cut yours? Oh, it's doing weird sh Quick, quick, quick. <laughs> oh, no. Ah, just bite it, just bite that. <laughs> Got it? Okay. A breeze and resistance. Yeah. We got your whole freaking... I don't want to get this all tangled up. And... I'll do this. Okay. Like that. I'm just gonna... I'll just keep pressure. I'll just keep sliding this down, okay? Okay. Nice. I think we good. 
That's the thing with these big lake trout battles, man. Like these things are crazy. We're not even halfway up the water column yet. We're in 80 feet of water. This fish is at 40. I think it should be okay. I think this fish is hooked. Oh, yucky. I think this fish is hooked real good. We're using a super simple bait. A lot of fishing. Super simple but efficient bait presentation. Whew. You love to see it, dude. That was crazy how that fish didn't even they mess don't, around. They don't hesitate now. Just like we saw on the acne, it was crushed. Dude, this is where these 48 inch rods are so good. These long, long, long rods. Oh, he's at the bottom of the hole. Oh, this is a good one. The hole's so chunky. Get up there, boy. That's a big fish. Mm -hmm. He's right there. there you go. Get up. Get your head up. He won't turn up. That's a big one. It's a big one. fish. It's a big one. I can't turn his head. There he is. He's up the hole. Oh, no. He turned at the last second. He was up. Come on, baby. That's a big Yes. Yeah. Come on. Get up. Get up. Come on. Come on. Get up. <laughs> is he in the hole? Yes, he is. There he is. Oh, that's big, giant. big, 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 big. Oh, oh that's big, big, big. He's going back down. Dude, big. that is a giant. Dude. Oh, dude. That's over 40, but dude. Oh, baby. Oh, this my is big, God. boy. This is big, big. Oh, my goodness, you guys. Look at this thing. Biggest clear water lake trout I've ever seen in my life. Okay, now check this out, you guys. Look at this bait we're using here. Literally just a simple, simple little octopus hook. No need to worry about getting this fish hooked gross. Let's see. Oh, it's not oh. that, it's not as big as I thought. 41. 40 and three quarters, but, but that's like, a dude, tall 40 and three like, quarters. That's so big. Dude. So tall, that's like a 30 plus pounder. <laughs> All right, y'all. <laughs> Oh, have a look at that absolute freaking giant. Mm, that's what you love to see. An hour into fishing. Oh, frick. That's so huge. She's still spunky and she's gone, baby. Oh. So we drove throughout the night. It took us 10 hours to drive here from Winnipeg, dragging this ice castle. We thought about sleeping it out in the parking lot. We decided to stay up and wait it out. We got that big mama. I thought that was going to be longer, but that thing was tall, that was boy. That is the I've seen on Come Up. Oh, baby. That's unreal, but what a way to start our trip, dude. Yes. Okay, so right here is that bait presentation that we're using. Now, it seems super simplistic, and it really is. Essentially, what it is, is just like a giant Lindy rig. So what you have here is an egg sinker. I'm using a half ounce with a big barrel swivel, about two and a half feet of 20 pound fluorocarbon and a big old Gamagatsu octopus hook. And all I'm using is a big slab of Cisco right there. Now for some reason, across all my time lake trout fishing, I have found that big lake trout seem to prefer or hesitate less when it comes to me, when it is a smaller snack option as opposed to a big, huge, full size Cisco or something. Now that could simply be because it's just something easier to just choke down their gut. Now I could just use this weight list, but the reason I'm using a slip sinker is A, just to get that bait down, and B, it kind of keeps the main line tight and away from the leader line. Just in case these fish are closely inspecting the line, I want to keep that bright braid away as far as possible. Literally just dropping down now and there's a huge mark skating across the bottom. Now this bait has taken an incredibly long time to get down and that's even with a weight added. If this was just a weightless piece of meat, this would probably take till tomorrow to reach bottom. And we ain't got that kind of time. I may have already been too slow to get down to reach that fish. Now the sinker is going to sit on the bottom and as that fish pulls line, hopefully it's going to be able to pull free as the line just passes through the slip sinker. We're going to get that camera back down because that was probably the most exhilarating lake trout catch that I've personally ever had. I haven't caught and I've caught a you kind of no that was the biggest lake i've ever caught on aquaview by far actually i think i've caught a couple like skinny near 40s but never one that was definitively over 40 and not one that was thick like that like that might have been my heaviest lake trout through the ice dude i thought that was so much bigger i'm not mad though like how could you be um how's that looking on the screen can you point that at me i'll try to get it set up again <clears throat> 
trip's made, dude. And now everything else is just bonus. I mean, I'd probably be pissed if we got skunked the rest, but. <laughs> oh, what the f is that? Something just happened. Hmm? Something just happened. I think something just picked up my bait. I just looked up and there's, oh, he didn't. He looked at it though. I don't think it was big. <gasps> oh yeah. I don't yeah, think it's that, big. That's wicked. He just ate something. That is not bad. Like that's going to be like a 30 inch fish at least. I don't know where you are. I think it was more this way. Oh, big fish, man. Full fish coming down. That's a nice fish. Right down. I don't know if that's something. I don't know where. I don't see it, but there's a fish down there. Oh, okay. It's got me. I got, I got, I got it. Okay. There you go. Good job, dude. Leader already? <laughs> Second fish of the day. bad decent fish 30 inch or maybe you know he's spoiled when he's flipping 30s okay pair of fish on the board the old circle hook i do believe that's an octopus hook by yeah. the way it's more technical that way circle hooks are for noobs using scissors as a great technique <laughs> would you like some Fun. the line <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Well, I got it out. Yeah, there you go. Show me that fish. Not too bad. At least I'm not skanked. Skank? <laughs> there you go. Good job, dude. <laughs> some places brady that's like the biggest lake shot a person will ever see that's a big huge 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 fish dude it's gonna crush it it's gonna crush it where's my oh he missed it that's a big fish that's a really big one that looks like as big as the last one <laughs> like the first one i mean oh it's right there dude look at it. down there boy oh dude there's two flying in this is ridiculous huge one flying in look at that a different fish for sure there's no way that fish just swam like 40 50 feet away man that's a giant i'm not touching this bait okay look for me i'm coming oh look at the second one circled oh, big. It's oh giant. my god man he missed oh it. that oh, is he got it, dude. no he didn't he didn't that's so big he didn't grab it he went to go and then his head his mouth hit the sand yeah. Oh, he's coming after something. I don't, I can't tell. Look at all the big ones down there. That's all big fish, dude. That could be me. Oh, look, look at that, that look at the hump on it. Holy man. Look that that one. one to the left is bigger. That might be going after me. Yeah, I think so. I think so. that might be me. Is he eating something? I'm not going to touch the camera right now, but I think you're I to think the left. He's eating something. He is eating. He ate That's it. you. That's ate. you. Does he have it? Oh. How do you tell? <laughs> yeah. That's a big fish on the bottom coming right at it. Really? Yeah, it is. That is big. Yep. Oh, there it is. That looks really That's big. That's a great fish. That's a good fish. Oh, oh, it's coming down at yours, maybe. Oh, oh no, you. maybe. Yeah, no. That's a no, nice that one, dude. That's a big one. That's a nice one. Did he eat it? No. Nope. What? No. He did the exact He's same got thing. It as well. No, it doesn't. That's a giant, dude. It is. It did the exact same thing. It grabbed the dirt right beside it. That one's huge. I know. I can see them both on the. Oh, oh look! look he has, he's been caught before. You can see yeah, that cut on his face. Oh, it's coming at something. It's right above someone. Oh, oh my goodness. There's a second one going to you. Go, he's going down to eat you. Uh, he missed just, it, I think, I dude. Think, he spit it again. Look at how big that is. That's that same one with that big mark on his face. Oh, the fish is coming. The yeah, fish is coming. Him. Here he comes. He's good. Oh, he's yeah. right on. He's right on. Eat it. Is he? Eat it. Oh, yeah. Dude. What the f Look at this, man. Why do they do this? Dude, he was all over it. What does it take? He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Please, oh dude, God. please, dude. Oh, you so big. Oh, that's the one with the big black thing on his face. I'm not moving it. I can't. He's like, nah, what? bro. He's, he's, he's coming. Weak. Oh. No, he's not. Shh, we gotta be quiet. He can't hear us, but he's going oh, Please, please, please. He ate it. Is it in his mouth? Yeah. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's trying to throw it. He's trying to throw it. Oh, he threw it, dude. You just see him shake it out? He literally had it in his mouth. And he so threw we can't it. wait. No, we you gotta hit wait. him ASAP. That fish had it in his mouth? 
He shook it and spit it out. He's down she at the bottom. How could he fucking feel that, eh? That's crazy. He's been caught before. He has, it looked like he had a rip in his yeah. cheek. Okay, so that's a lesson learned right there. Here he comes again. Oh, that's, that's a, a big, big one. one. Did, he, did he get me? He might have, he might have, he might have. Did you pick it up? He might have. He's going up, he's going up, doing something really weird. No, he doesn't have it. What the f was so big. This is so exhilarating, dude. I know, I told you. It's not, that's a bigger one. So, we got a couple fish, pick up the baits and spit them out. What we're going to do, or what I'm going to do, Brady's doing his own thing. He's using a big old dead bait. I am switching up to a much smaller octopus hook right here. This is a 5 aught as compared to the 7 aught. Just thinking that can hide the hook a lot better, a little lighter weight. Also, another thing I should mention is that if you're going to use these octopus hooks, you really need to be tying the snell knot. If you don't know how to tie that, look it up. But basically, the principle behind it is that it wraps around the shank as opposed to the eyelet so it's pulling this hook directly from the shank to set that octopus hook into the fish's mouth whereas if you tie it directly to the eyelet just like a normal clinch knot or whatever palomar knot it's just gonna slip on that eyelet and you're not gonna get that direct trajectory that you want on that hook so snell knot is a must on these hooks see i know what i'm talking about about stuff and things fresh meat fresh meat We've gone straight up off the deep end loop, you know. What are we even talking about? Are we due for a ch- oh, what are you? I'm glad you're on chum duty. Oh, look at this all f***ing banged up. No wonder that fish spit it out. It's all pangulated. F***ing hell, pendulum. Mishta lova lova. I don't know, I gotta stop saying that. I don't know why I keep saying that. It's f***ing weird, man. Is this the one you're? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I just gave it a speed hole. Sorry. <laughs> I like this one better. Are you going bigger piece? I just really want to bury the entire hook so it is like invisible. Jenny, dead? Is that gonna be a problem? <laughs> Very well, could be. Are you for real? Let me just get this down, I'll come help you. Suka! Is he over there? Suka! He has to be over there. I may have to go for a ride in your vehicle. Is he gone? He's right there, dude. He's behind oh. the shack. Okay, I thought he was. Well, kids, we have a slight problem. Now, for those of you who have ever tried to film with the uh, underwater cameras, you'll know that if it loses power, the footage gets corrupt and the ice castle, the generator just ran out of gas. So we lost the power and we lost the footage. So we lost a bunch of uh, pretty decent big fish on the underwater camera. I'm hoping the head cam though will have captured it. Cause I mean, if I'm looking at the TV, the head cam's looking at the TV too. So I'm sure we got some. It's not gonna be as crispy clean as the uh, actual recording right off the device would be, but uh, we should go. We'll know better for next time. This Tweedledum out there. Oh, you got a laker head. Where'd you get that? Come here. All right. Yeah, he found a laker head. I'm tempted to jig a line in here. Something to make a little bit of noise, maybe. These are pretty sick too. Maybe I'll put one of these on. These underspins, this thing right here. Ooh. This is what I caught that uh, big one in Nunavut eye. Sleepy boy. Hey. Is he trying to mooch? No. Suka. Oh, I'm trying to eat it. <laughs> He's trying to take it out of your hand? Yeah. <laughs> Probably waiting for you to fall asleep. You guys see those eyes getting heavy? I dare you. Suka, go lie down. Come here. That hair jig looks good. There's a fish coming up with the active bait. Oh, yeah. You see it? Oh. He's going after mine. Nice, get him. We need a fish, boy. There he is again. Oh, that's a nice one, man. That's a big, big, big one. Come on, boy, get this weird one. 
that's I don't know if I want to drink this bait. I don't want to fucking freak him out. Oh, oh it's right there. That's tall and big. That's tall and big. Oh, man. Oh, man, I'm actually eating this active bait. I don't want to drink it. I'm afraid. He's going I, I, oh, he's going right at you, dude. Oh, he's going down. He's going down. Please, you. I don't know. Oh, yeah, there he is. Look at that big silhouette just hiding in the back. I feel like this thing shifted yeah, a bit. Yeah, I think so. So tell me if I'm going the right way, because I think we need to go left. Yeah. Oh, here he is again. He's coming right at you. Oh, dude, it's so big. That's huge. That might be bigger than the first one. It just looks like a barrel. He's coming back. There he is again. Dude, look at it. Look how big it is. Yeah, man. Yeah, he's coming right at you, Justin. Right you. He's looking at you. <gasps> Look how big it is, dude. dude. That's an aggressive fish. He's, gonna he's moving like he wants something. Like he's doing something. Yeah, that's a big fish. Oh, he's coming to you. Oh, eat it. Eat it. Oh. That's yeah. a big fish, man. Look at the big old swoopy tail. He's not messing around for nothing. This is so exciting. <laughs> Isn't it? We got two more days of this. Look oh. at that. He's eating chum. Oh my Dude, god. That's a big fish, buddy. Here he is, big fish. Yeah. Coming right at me. Yeah, he'll come right at you. Eat it. Eat it. Oh my god. He Eat ate it. it. Hit him. Yeah. Got him. This is a nice one. He's doing weird, crazy stuff. <laughs> big head shakes and stuff. Oh, he's doing such crazy things, man. So like he's not really fighting very hard. Really? No, no, I said that, and here he goes. Let's go, baby. I think we're hooked up to another real nice Laker. I can't lie. I kind of wish Brady got that one. Okay. Spread the wealth, but I always say in fishing, this is a team effort. You know what I mean? Like we're here fishing together in the same shelter, a mere five feet from one another. This feels like it's got some weight. I don't know how much weight. He hasn't had any super like crazy peeling drag runs, but he has a lot of weight for sure. There we go. That's that peeling drag run I'm looking for, baby. Oh, those big head shakes are, oh, oh my goodness, dude. He's scaring me a lot. Look at that disturbance on the, on the panoptics right now. This is a good one. He's Whoa. just, head, he might be wrapping himself up in the line. I think he's close. Like he's he is close. Back. He's right below the hole now, I think. Oh, 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 oh my God, what is he doing? He's gotta be wrapped or something, eh? He's doing super, super crazy stuff. Right at the bottom of the hole, which when you really don't want it to happen. Oh yeah, there he is, good fish. It's a nice fish, yeah. I hope he takes another run here, honestly. I don't want him doing this at the bottom oh, of the hole at all. Big, is it? Yeah. He's up. Uh, almost, almost. Okay, heads right there. Yeah. Pull, 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 pull. Got him, baby. Yeah. Another giant, man. Absolute giant. Look at that. Hooked so grossly, man. There we go. Another absolute beauty of a fish, dude. Look at this bait. Barbless hook here. Just slides right out. That's why it's so important to have the proper equipment to handle those runs. Look at that. Absolute beauty of a lake shot. That's probably a 38, I'm going to guess. Another total stud. Back to back, we had a pretty serious lull period. It's been a couple hours since we've seen anything too exciting. And then this gal swam through and uh, gave us a little show on the underwater cam. Get her back. She is still so charged up. Just gonna catch her breath. And be on her way, let's go baby. That's what we're out here for. That's like two fish in one day that are like the fish of some people's dreams. We're just spoiled out here. Fishing in this absolutely beautiful ice castle. Like, does life get any better? Maybe a little bit of sleep might help, but uh, we're not complaining. I'm awake now. Yeah, me too, dude. I'm like shockingly okay. I had a little smell there. Yeah, you're not. Okay kids, it is now officially too late and too dark to use the aqua view. We have pulled it up, so the show is over for the night. 
We have to take this ice castle off the ice and go park it somewhere to sleep for the night because of provincial regulations. But that's okay, we're gonna be back out here tomorrow. Back at it, back on the grind. We're probably gonna fish around for a little bit before we head out, but uh, if nothing else exciting happens, then this will be the end. So thank you guys all so much for watching. Super solid day, so much excitement. I really hope all of the uh, footage is at least salvageable through that head cam. But uh, if not, we still got big mamas. You should cut some fish. We're gonna get more tomorrow. I'll allow it. I'm gonna catch 39 by 9.47. I don't even know what that means to be honest. <laughs> 39 and a half by 9.47? Yeah, but 9.47 a.m. tomorrow. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, you heard it here first. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace.